Welcome to Drone News Weekly, where we keep you updated on the latest trends, innovations, and controversies in the world of drones. Buckle up. This week's news is nothing short of a tech-fueled thriller. The future of warfare may have just been previewed, and it looks straight out of a sci-fi movie. A viral clip surfaced this week showcasing a unitary robotic Unit dog promoted. squaring off against a DJI drone in what can only be described as a battle of autonomous machines. While optimists argue this could reduce human casualties in combat, the darker reality is hard to ignore. Technology is evolving rapidly, and its weaponization is accelerating just as fast. The line between man and machine in warfare is blurring. So, is this a glimpse of a future where war is fought entirely by robots, or are we heading straight into a Skynet-level dystopia? Either way, one thing's for sure. The battlefield is changing, and it's happening faster than most of us anticipated. For those worried about transitioning away from DJI drones due to the impending ban, relief may be on the horizon. Brink, an American drone manufacturer, has just announced a game-changing initiative. They're offering $15,000 per drone to help public safety agencies switch from DJI to American-built drones. And here's the best part. No trade-ins required. Agencies can keep their existing DJI fleets while scaling up with Brink's purpose-built emergency response drones. This phased approach minimizes downtime and ensures a seamless transition for law enforcement, fire departments, and other first responders. Brink claims this initiative is designed to provide agencies with a structured methodology to move away from Chinese-made drones while ensuring they don't suffer from operational setbacks. So, if you're in public safety and looking to future-proof your drone fleet, Brink might have just made the transition a whole lot easier. The U.S. Navy is rethinking the future of naval aviation, and the answer might just be drone motherships, or what some analysts are calling drone aircraft carriers. The idea? A carrier strike group that includes an all-UAV carrier alongside traditional aircraft carriers. The goal is to increase sortie rates, maximize efficiency, and integrate manned and unmanned operations like never before. This isn't just a futuristic concept. It's a strategic move to enhance U.S. military capabilities in contested airspace. By fielding unmanned aircraft carriers, the Navy could deploy more drones for reconnaissance, strike missions, and electronic warfare without risking human pilots. It's a bold vision, but will the Navy actually fund and develop such a platform? Only time will tell. And in classic DJI fashion, everything got leaked. If you thought you were done buying drones for a while, think again. Here's what's reportedly coming in 2025. Mavic 4 Pro, Mini 5 Pro, Matrix 400, M400, DJI Dock 3, Action 6 mobile camera, Osmo Nano series. That's right. DJI is keeping the upgrade cycle alive and well, finding new and innovative ways to help you spend your money. Will these new drones bring game-changing features, or will they just be another incremental update to keep you locked into the DJI ecosystem? Either way, expect more leaks, more hype, and more pre-orders.